but it'll it'll compel you know, good behavior by us and good behavior by St. Lawrence to produce documents in a timely fashion. So and that will happen. Tom, issues or concerns that you feel also need to be addressed. No, I think we covered most of them. I guess I want to make sure that on the decommissioning it's clear. <clears throat> the decommissioning in my mind has several parts. One is the financial, and we can work that out. The second one is, it's like a line in a row. You're going to pull the tower down and the farmer A says, leave me the cement pad. Fine, life is good, leave the pads. Farmer B says, take the pad out. Um, we're going to need to know, and we might as well do it now, is how are you going to handle, what, what, A, what are you going to do with the cement, concrete, whatever it's called, because I'm not technical in that area, and what are you going to do, you know, where is the dirt going to come from, how are you going to handle this? I'm interested at it, this is actually Tom's idea, and I'm just dealing with it, but from the standpoint of, there's a lot of some concrete there, right, and there's a big hole in the ground. I mean, how are you going to handle that? What's your plan for handling it? I think we should be discussing that plan. Um, the financing we will get into. The financing is actually part of the, the, the final site plan. No financing, no project. It's that simple. But um, the rest of the items here, I agree with. My direction to you is that if you wish us to discuss it at the April meeting, March or March meeting, excuse me, uh, at the March meeting, our March meeting is on the 11th. You would need to have, and you'll need to work it out with our consultants. We need the answers in our hands from our attorney by Friday the 6th. Probably we would give you to Saturday the seventh, but you have to handle every Okay? Somehow. I'm only handling every in July, August. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, what I'm Friday. saying to you is if I wake up on Monday morning and we don't have these, we will not do this at the meeting. Because it's mm -hmm. not fair to the board members to ask them to review a bunch of stuff, go back to the original documents, and try to make a determination whether you've answered the questions or not. Um, so I'm saying, if you want at that meeting, you're going to have to hustle. The same thing goes for you know, you and Chris. You guys have got to get that stuff, because it's going to come from you to us. Yep. That's the direction. So my direction to the attorney is, the attorney has these issues. It would be faster and more feasible to have him work directly with whomever you decide to work out the verbiage and most of these stuff. Most of the stuff is verbiage. Um, there's some items in here that, you know, I, and if you have questions, I'm happy to talk to you about that. You can basically change the wording and then you eliminate the item. Okay. okay? So, do you have any questions for us? Is there a timeline for your consultants to comment and get back to you when we provide revisions? Okay, let me, let me redirect this here, because we all know how cranky I can be. <laughs> I expect that you, and you, and Chris Demick have paperwork back to us. Let me rephrase it, I'll make it even more blunt. On March 6th, or possibly March 7th, which is, is uh, <coughs> almost a month away, we expect to have the answers to the questions and the revisions done. There's nothing here that requires you to go out and do much study. The only study you really have to do is you've got to go look at some of the roads where you possibly are going to be turning the vehicles. So we're not talking about field work here. We're talking about stuff that people can do on their computer, weekend nights, or whatever. My direction back to you, and to you, is we expect, the board expects, because we've been dealing with this thing a long time, to have the corrections done 
by and to us by March 6th or 7th. Now, if you are in the middle of a blizzard, call me and maybe I'll give you an exception until the Monday. Okay? But basically, it's if they're not here, we will not work with this on the 11th, March 11th meeting. Period. Because several of the items will require us to go back and do some additional research. Right? We all work for a living. We, you can't get us to them on Tuesday and say, well, I want you to do this tomorrow night. So is that a fair direction? Did I make it clear? Is it yes. perfectly clear to everybody? Yeah. Okay. Does anybody from the board have anything to say? Okay. Well, tomorrow I'll generate a brief list of items so that St. Lawrence has direction. I'm going to give a copy of it to Rich. I'll send it to St. Lawrence so they can begin work. And then we'll just continue to review their work and assuming that it's adequate by March 6th, then we'll address that for the board. If you if you eliminate, humor me, there's 10 items. I don't, didn't count the number of items here. There's 10 items. And you've eliminated five of them in the next week, write this stuff up, get it out. Then we, can, we have a lot of time, you know, you, and maybe the last item is a, takes you a lot more time, but there's probably a lot more to it. So now we're only down to reading one item. Think of this as we have to grade your papers. And if you're going to turn them at the last minute, it, it's probably not going to go well. Is that? Yeah. Um, and I, you, you all know I'm accessible by cell phone most all the time. Or I'll call you back. Anything else? Do we have any other questions? We can provide these in, in sections. You don't want us to take back the binders, repopulate them. That's totally, you, you figure out how you, or you can bring them up to, here's the ones you have to really change. We put out into the community, just so that we didn't have a foil problem, and, and drive the Newtown Firth nuts, copies, which really was not a good idea to do, because you're going to, we knew there were going to be changes in it. But to make life good, they're out there, right? I don't care whether you make the changes and get them to there or not get them to there because they will be available in the town clerks. You need, you'll need to change the town clerks, you'll need to change the board members. Probably would be smart to change the others. We have made the comment last time, Todd was very clear about this, that we are not accepting any public comment on this until which time that we deem the document complete. Because people would be commenting on something that we've just changed the paperwork and they're going to comment it again. We want to know what comments go with what. Okay, so what we're doing is, I don't care how you do it. You, you two guys figure out the best way that's going to work for you to get it done. You want to do it all in one fell swoop? Do, go for it. I'm saying that I need to have it over the weekend before. Or I'm not willing to allow you to allow it to be discussed at the meeting. I'm not putting it on the agenda. Okay. Other questions? I left 10 minutes early last time, and then we changed the locations of libraries. You're all set? We're not going to change anything. You you work out with him specifically how you're going to change the thing, which ones you're going to change, you're going to change them all over. Ever how you want to handle that is fine with me. Okay. All right? What I'm saying is we want to see these re Your sheet primarily, <laughs> I want to see an answer saying we've decided it's no longer important, or we fixed it, here's how we fixed it. Okay? And that's how we're going to, I'm going to cross match it. Okay. So like a, that, that's actually like a fourth column to the chart we have. Yeah. And we'll run right down Chris's list. That's perfect. And, and then at the end of the day, the ones that I don't have anything in, we'll have to decide how important they are and what we're going to do with them. Okay? Thank you. Okay. Drive carefully. Thanks, guys.
Is there any other item?